Good morning students. Let us start today's class with the lesson Olive and the Bees part 2. In our previous class we learned about the little girl Olive and her interest on bees. Her brother Charlie advised her not to go near the bees but she ignored him and decided to find out more interested things about bees. Let us go to the rest of the chapter. It was the first summer that Olive had spent in the country and all its sights and scenes were new to her. Rejoicing in the freedom of being able to roam about without her hat or jacket, she ran lightly out of the low French window of the sitting room down the path towards a large clump of lemon colored foxglocks. All sights and scenes of the countryside were amazed her because she was the first time come and spend in that place. So everything was new to her. So she simply roamed here and there out of her home. At last she reached near the phlox gloss. Phlox gloss means kind of flowers. These are the phlox gloss. The bees went in and out of these phlox gloss yesterday, she said. As she stooped over the bed, ah yes, here is one buried quite deep in the floor. I must have that bee. And taking out her handkerchief, she threw it over the floor. She caught the bee in its folds, carrying it in triumph towards the hives, which stood on a shelf under a sunny wall by the high garden gate. On the previous day, she saw the bees came in and out of those flocks gloves. So she reached there and watched carefully that whether bees were there or not. Then she saw one bee inside the flowers. She tried and caught that bees by using her handkerchief and she carried or took that bee towards the hive. For what purpose? Huh, to keep or put that bee inside the hive. Children, suppose after that what had happened there? Now then, dear bee, said Olive, releasing the bee with all the calmness of ignorance. Here is your hive. Let me see you go in with your load of honey. Then she released the bee inside the hive, saying that she wanted to see how the bee entering in the hive with the load of honey that the bee collected from the flowers. Who told her? Olive. To whom? To the bee. Bees, however, are not creatures to be trifled with and this one did not mean to go to its hive with its honey bags only half full. Instead, it turned fiercely on Olive and stung her sharply on the hand. Oh ho, oh, it hurts, she screamed and hurrying away she accidentally upset the straw cover of a hive. The bees also have to do their own duties. We all have to do our own duties. Like that, the bees also have to do their own duties. We cannot treat them carelessly and having no importance. That bee collected only half of its honey bag means that bee's honey bag was only half full. So it became very angry because of Olive it couldn't fill its bag. So it didn't go inside the hive but came outside and stung on Olive's hand sharply. Then what happened? Yeah, Olive began to scream means started to cry and run towards her home. Students imagine how did she cry and run towards her home? Instantly, scores of angry bees came buzzing around her. Olive ran as she had never run before. But she did not escape without several severe stings. She was all but fainting with pain and terror when she at last reached the kitchen door and slammed it behind her. Fortunately, Martha, the maid, was there and at once applied the vinegar bag, which ceased the pain of the stings greatly. Children, 
you all know if we disturb one bee on the hive then all the bees will come and try to sting us same happened here also olive thought she helped the bee to go back its hive but all the bees were disturbed there and by making sound they all followed olive and she ran as much as speed she could but many bees stung her then what happened at last she reached the kitchen door and slammed it slammed means shut the door forcefully and loudly then there was the maid her name was martha she applied the vinegar by on olive's body to seize the pain of sting greatly as charlie told to her martha did i only wanted to study the bees sobbed olive i never meant to offend them and make them sting me you had a better study obedience miss and leave the bees alone said martha curtly i told you only yesterday to keep away from the hives if you want to study bees get the old bee master to tell you how to set about it she said to martha that she wanted to study the bees and never liked to offend offend means annoy or disturb and make them to sting her by crying she was telling all this by crying martha had advised her many times before also not what she advised her ah she advised her not to go near the bee hive and again she told her if she had to study about the bees to go and learn from the old bee master some weeks later olive had an opportunity of watching the bee master when he removed the honey from the hives he did not get stung even though the bees were all round him olive could not help admiring the fearless way he went to work charlie was right olive did learn something from the bees and one of her lesson was humility she did not think she knew all about a subject after reading of the wonderful discoveries of men who had given a lifetime to it again after some weeks she saw how the bee master removing the honey from the hives without getting things from the bees even though the bees were all round him and olive was watching all this charlie was right because he advised his sister not to go near the bees but olive didn't obey him now she realized what was the meaning of charlie's sentences advice but olive learned something from the bees what did she learn from the bees ah the lesson was humility what was the lesson humility humility means the quality of being humble and respectful after that she never thought that she knew all about a subject after reading any wonderful discoveries of man why one has to give or spend his whole lifetime to achieve or for finding out wonderful discoveries so students after reading a book of wonderful discoveries we also don't tell anyone that we know everything okay hope you all have understood the lesson let us end today's class here thank you